okay so you're struggling with bar chords it seems to be the most common thing that people say when they get past that sort of beginner stage they want to start to bar and the the thing you've got to do is have your finger placed on here and be able to pick every note and hear them all clear now that finger has got to be straight so when you're going from these open chords when you're beginning watch if i keep my wrist in this position and then try and bar watch this see that it hooks it there's no way i can flatten my finger on that and this looks kind of common to a lot of people when they do the bars like this now watch what i need to do to to make that which is a common hand shape with people to make that straight watch this see how much i had to bring my hand under there i had to hook it under so watch this from there this is what i always see so watch this hands coming on and you can see it makes your finger go straight because there is no way if i'm got my finger hooked that i i am able to hear every one of their notes clear watch this hook hand under get each note clear they should be flat so when you come to do your bar you don't need to worry about this finger it is flat on every one of them open notes what would be open notes there so you want to be able to pick through your chord and hear every note clear so going from here these open chords with this wrist set watch this it comes under quite a lot see that let me show you that so I'm sort of pushing it out and the aim is to just get this finger straight look that is all my aim is to go from this sort of clawed thing and i've seen students for they've been practicing for about a year and they've had this problem and no one's ever pointed it out so bring the wrist under okay that seems to be the biggest common fault when i've had students approach me and uh, i've said just send me pictures or i've had students that i'm teaching and it's just a majority of the time 95 percent of the time is just that to fix it and after a week or two getting nice clear sounds now the next thing is to actually be able to place the chord on in one go because <laughs> what you don't want to do is this so you're doing one step at a time so a good a good uh, tip around that is to just try practicing doing a bar chord in mid-air and it you'll it'll be surprising how hard that is your fingers might just go a bit everywhere but you've got to get your bar you've got to get your e shape because it's a fraction of a second before i hit on the strings look i have the shape first i don't use an anchor when people always talk about anchors like, that'll anchor yeah but your chord change will take about five minutes to get there you need to make the shape before impact so impact is at the same time as the chord being pressed on not in steps which is all right when you're learning but if you want to get past that stage you've got to start making guitar shapes all types of shapes with your fingers in the air because when i change it is i make the shape before i actually touch the strings so this could be tricky at first but you just got to train your fingers to make the shapes so let me know how you get on see if that helps hope it does all right bye bye